Yo, what's good everyone? It's One Clips, and we're gonna be giving my guy a low drop fade today. You can see he's nervous, but he doesn't need to be nervous because I'm gonna hook him up today. First thing we're gonna grab is our trimmers, and we're gonna make our first guideline. Now, me personally, I don't like making my guidelines straight, so I like adding a little curvature, so that's what we're gonna do today. Now, you may be asking, why do you add a curve? It's because I like making that C-cut pop, and at the end, you're gonna see that it really does make a difference and it really makes the haircut pop more. Now I'm only gonna show you all how to fade one side, but what we do to one side, we're gonna do it to the other side. So it's the same steps. Personally, I do like punching in my first guidelines, but there's a way I'm gonna show you all how to get that out and it's really easy. Now just for the purpose of the video, I will be speeding this part up. We are gonna grab our clippers, lever open, and we're gonna go up a thumb width. When I say lever open, that means the lever is all the way down. Now remember, when the lever is open, it's gonna cut less hair, and when the lever is closed, it's gonna cut more hair. We're just gonna go around the whole head now with the lever open. Now to have a good haircut, you wanna make everything really neat. Now remember, when you go towards the back, you wanna make it just a tad bit wider. Not too much, but just a tad bit. Now we're gonna grab our clippers, closed, and remember when it's closed, it's gonna cut more hair. So we're gonna just go up a little bit and then we're gonna slowly move that lever down. Now, as y'all know, I like working in small sections, so it's nice and consistent. So we're gonna close our lever and then we're just gonna slowly open it up. Man, you can see that thing's already blending, look at that. Now we just gotta do this on the whole head. this angle you can really see how i'm starting to blend look at that slowly moving it down opening it up don't be afraid to move your client's head because they're not gonna mind and it's gonna be way easier for you now remember if you see any dark areas you can always go back and just detail remember your chair always moves so move your client around and it'll just be better for your body and for yourself in general as you can see we made the back just a little bit wider just so it doesn't look like there's a big line in the back when you make that section really compressed it looks like there's a big line so you always want to spread it a little bit more in the back now that we have that done we're going to grab our one guard and we're going to go up a thumb width same thing I said before, we wanna make it really neat and consistent. If we do those two things, we're gonna come out with a nice fade every time. As you can see, I'm pushing my client's head just so it makes it easier for me and I can see really see everything that I'm doing. Now that we got that done, we're gonna grab our one guard closed and we're just gonna go up at that line. Now, that line's not gonna come out, so we're gonna grab our 0.5 next, but we're just gonna soften up that middle line as of right now. Now, we're gonna grab our 0.5 close, and we're just gonna go up and just really attack that line to get rid of it and fade it out. Now, there is a line still left, so we're gonna grab our 1.5 close, and we're just gonna flick up and just flick that line out. Now, if you're going to go up higher, just open that lever up just so it's not such a risky move. Now, I'm going to detail my one guard and I'm going to have it open. And I'm just going to flick up just to detail and get some dark spots I still see. I feel like with this type of hair texture, it's almost like you want to sculpt the hair just because it sticks out randomly and everything. But now that we got that detailed, we're gonna detail this back and we're just gonna get those dark spots. Now, I'm not using the full blade. I'm just using the corners right now. Now we're gonna do the C cups and I'm just gonna grab my trimmers and just tap and drag, tap and drag. Now you see I'm using two hands to hold my trimmer just so it gives me more control and I can really make that C cup pop right now. And I have my fingers on his face just for more control. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry.
you can see that thing really pops, but I'm gonna grab this white pencil and I'm just gonna drag it and make that C cup really pop. I do like using white pencil just because it lets me see some hairs that I couldn't get before and it just makes the haircut really pop more. You see, there's some hairs I didn't see before, so that's why I use it. I use it as a tool. I've been doing this trick for a while and my clients seem to notice it. They're always like, you always get this so sharp. Boom, look at that. That thing is crispy. Look, you can see he's feeling himself in the mirror. Look, that's the nod of approval right there. Now we're gonna do some clipper over comb just because his hair does stick out. So we wanna sculpt his hair. Now remember to keep the comb at a nine degree angle because if you go in, it's not gonna look that good. You can see his hair is trying to grow towards his nose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush that hair forward and we're gonna cut it. This really did make the haircut pop. Look at that. That thing just came out really sharp. Now you can see we didn't use any enhancements or anything. No fibers, no enhancements, nothing. We wanted to keep that C cup dark so it looks enhanced. Now we're gonna grab our thinning shears and we're just gonna detail a little bit. Just get those dark spots. I'm not gonna lie, typically I don't do this, but I mean, it did the job, so. Look, you see, he came in here scared, nervous, and everything. He needed that cut to boost his confidence. So look at this. This is how he came in. This is how he came out. Ah, nice. That's what he's saying to himself right now. Look. He knows he looks good. He knows he's feeling himself. Look at that line. Look at the crispy. That's all I got to say is crispy. Boom. You can see the other side is just as crispy too. We got him looking right. Look, the camera is not even focusing on it just because it's so blurry. But that's the end of the haircut. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'm out.